Good morning, it's now the 1st of August. Just gone quarter to seven. I'm already up because the midges are eating me alive here at the moment. That's where I was uh, pitched last night, just past the bridge. I'm gonna start walking to try and get away from these midges. Yeah, I, uh, I always set the alarm in the morning for six o'clock. Um, so I prefer to get up at six, have something to eat, pack the tent away and get away. Well, the plan is for seven, but it's normally about half seven, something like that. Uh, but this morning, oh, but this morning, uh, set the alarm for six, got up, started to pack stuff in the tent away and I could see all the midges outside my tent. And I really didn't want to try and uh, cook anything. I just wanted to get up, put the tent away and get moving. Yeah, the midges seem to be staying back there now. Oh, I've, I've never had it that bad with midges before. There's just like a big swarms outside my uh, tent. Ugh. Anyway, uh, yeah, I've got about, I think it's about 21 mile today um, to a campsite. Uh, I think it's called the Eco Calf campsite or something along them lines. It's the one that has all the colouring, the colourful uh, advertising boards before you get to it. I've seen it on lots of other people's uh, YouTube videos, so I'll be staying there tonight. Oh, right, I'm on the uh, high line, the high route this time. So hopefully I get nice views of uh, Loch Ness. And I'll, uh, I'll bring you back when I do. I'm just glad to get away from them midges. They started, I started going crazy with it. Right, bring you back in a bit. Hello, I've only been going uh, 15 minutes. I got away from all those midges, thank God. But I'm, uh, I made it up to the, the view catcher. Oh, sculpture here. Uh, this is one of the reasons why I wanted to come the uh, come up the, uh, the the higher route uh, this time, but uh, I did. This morning I forgot that it was here. <laughs> I was just walking along the trail. The trail comes. Oh, where are you? The trail just comes along here and uh, up here, and then I saw it. Right now the trail's going up, up. Let's see if the camera's picking it out up there. Uh, I think today is going to be quite well, oh, quite a nice day. I don't think it's going to be as sunny as it was yesterday, uh, but I think it's going to be a bit of cloud. But I don't think we're going to get. I'm going to get any rain. Well, hopefully I don't get any rain anyway. But we shall see. Right, time to leave the view catcher and carry on walking. Right, time's just coming up to eight o'clock, so it's been going about a quarter, an hour and a quarter now. And I've just come up to the troll bridge. Looks like it needs a little bit of repair. Yeah, that was another uh, <laughs> that was a, another thing that I knew that I'll be uh, seeing on this trail, the high the uh, high route. But this morning, completely forgot all about it. So uh, <laughs> it's nice these little surprises. Uh, since leaving camp, I've only seen one other place uh, where you could wild camp, and that was right next to a uh, forestry road. Uh, you can see somebody else had already uh, been there because there was a ring of stones and they had had a fire. Uh, 
But other than that, there's, there's nowhere really, I would say, right next to the trail to wild camp so far. And also, since I've left, I haven't even seen the lock. <laughs> uh, I know this trail goes above the tree line, so then I should do, and it's, it's starting to have, um, head upwards again. Because after my, um, after I left my campsite, you, you, you do go up quite a lot, up to the uh, view catcher, but then you descend quite a long way. Uh, and it looks like now I'm going back up again. Right. Hopefully I'll get you back when there's a view. Oh, it's ten past eight. I've just uh, come straight up the zigzag path from the uh, troll bridge. Now the views are opening out. I'm just up here next to this uh, shelter here. When the sun comes out, it gets quite warm, but when the sun goes in, the wind picks up, it gets a little bit cold. I'm just going to sit down here for five minutes and then get going again. Right, it's just coming up to quarter to nine. I've just rejoined there. Yeah. So I've just come down from the, uh, the right uh, and the um, other trail, I think, comes up from the bottom there, from the left. Uh, so I've just rejoined, that's where the, uh, the low route and the high route uh, meet up again. So, oh yeah, that high route. Uh, yeah, you do get some nice views of the lock, you certainly do, yeah. But uh, if you're not above the tree line as such, you're more on the very edge of the tree line. Um, and a couple of times, yeah, you do, you do get some very nice views, but uh, the rest of the time you're just in the woods, really. Uh, Anyway, I'm still glad I've done it. And now uh, on to, oh God, I can't remember the name of the place now. I'm seven miles away from it though. <laughs> I'll put the name up on the screen. Uh, and hopefully I'll get something to eat there. So I'm still in need of some uh, pub grub. <laughs> right, bring it back later. Oh, hang on, I'll show you the view. Hello, it's just, uh, just gone 11, uh, 20 past 11, a uh, little way on from where I was before. <laughs> There's a load of road walking, uh, not too much, but still quite a bit. Uh, I've turned off there now and I'm uh, on this little trail through the woods here. It's looking quite nice. Yeah, the sun's out and I wasn't expecting it to be as uh, bright as it, as it is today. I thought it was going to be a bit more cloudy, so a bit of shade's nice. I'm just hoping when I get down here, oh, I might half, it's uh, was it? not even half 11, so I'm hoping there's a calf or something down here. I, <laughs> I constantly hope for uh, a calf or something, but pubs, if there's a pub down here, that probably won't be open until 12 or, or 1 or whatever, but uh, maybe there'll be a calf down here. Let's see. Right, I'll bring you back in a bit. Hello, it's just gone half past one. Uh, I've walked through Drum the Drocking. It's probably not pronounced that way, but I'm going with that. Um, and I've stopped off in a calf uh, called 82, which is right on the the uh, Great Glen Way. You can't miss it. Um, so that's why I stopped. Very nice in there. Um, but there's also a couple of pubs uh, on the trail as well because you, you end up walking right the way through the middle of the town. Uh, I've left, uh, yeah, you, you leave Drum and Drop in and you walk along the road. Um, there's pavement all the way, which is just as well because it's quite a quick road. I'll just spin you around. There's the road. 
and just down here is where it um, comes off the road up here and along there but then I think I think it slowly climbs uphill um, as it as it goes around yeah I think it slowly curves around the um, contours there so it slowly climbs up um, I'm not sure how many miles it is to the campsite but I don't think I'm gonna be there any later than four o'clock uh, famous last words but something like that anyway definitely no later than five um, right let's push on then <sighs> hello it's 20 past three now yeah 20 past three and um, before when I said that I thought that the uh, the path slowly sort of curved around followed the contours and, and ra uh, raised up no it didn't it, it zigzagged and it went quite steep uh, but I'm at the top I'll show you the view that's the way I've come from. That's the way I'm going. Yeah, so I, I stopped a minute ago uh, just for another little break. So I mean, no, uh, no rush today at all. Um, I think I'm, I'm guessing I must be a couple of miles off the uh, campsite, something like that. So I, I think I've got all the time in the world now. Um, and also, I'm going to be stopping at this campsite for two nights. Um, the only reason being, I've got a flight booked from Inverness back to Bristol on the 4th. And today's the 1st. So as always, I've got a little bit ahead of myself. I always do this. Um, I always add a day or two into my sort of uh, hiking holidays just in case anything happens or just in case I want to take a break midway through it or anything like that so I've got an extra spare day basically um, and I know a lot of people might say that well I could have just done less miles each day um, and spread out uh, spread it all out a minute instead of trying to do like 20 miles a day 20, 20 mile days knock it back a bit but uh I quite often I, I quite often get a bit restless if I if I'm at a campsite at three in the afternoon I quite often think <laughs> I haven't done enough that day um so I far prefer to do sort of around 20 mile days and then take a whole entire day off just to sit back and relax than to do I don't know what would it be uh, uh, 18 mile days or whatever it is each day and um and have no no zero day so but anyway it's my hike so I'll do it my way <laughs> yeah so uh, I'm thinking about a couple of miles time I've got this eco campsite cash thing where apparently the lady that runs it uh, makes some very nice lemon cake so I've been hearing from other YouTubers, so I'll have to give that a go. Right, I'll bring it back when I get to the uh, campsite. Yeah, this looks like the place. It's where I'm going anyway. I'll get to the gate. Oh, a little little trek up the, um, the path there uh, and uh, there's lots of signs on the way 
um, trying to sell you, well, trying to tell you what's here. Ooh. So this is where I'm hoping to spend a couple of nights. Right, I'll stop filming now and I go up to the house and order myself some coffee, a cake and two nights camping. Right, I've uh, just gone up towards the uh, house and there's a gate there and there's a sign on it. Um, there's a bell and it says they ring for attention, which I was going to, but now there's another sign above it saying, um, sorry, we're not here. Uh, it's called cool out for the uh, RNLI. Um, saving lives at sea, so they're obviously on call or something for that, so... Hmm... Well, I'm not planning to go on any further, so I'm going to stay here for a half hour or so. Hope somebody comes back. Um, otherwise, I'll just pitch up here somewhere and wait for them to come back. Right, I'll let you know. I'll get back to you when I let, when I know what's going on. Oh, some of the wildlife. Ah, right, where do I start? It's just gone quarter past six. Um, I'm all pitched up because it was just starting to spot with rain. Um, I went back up to the house and rang the bell, even though the sign there said that um, they're out on call. Uh, and then this young guy came out, he was in his 20s, a big bloke with uh, long hair, very nice, very nice bloke. Um, he said that the, the the people that run this campsite are away at the moment, out on call, um, so he, he will uh, run me through what, what goes on here. Now, bearing in mind, I knew that this was an eco um, camps, campsite cafe thing, so I, I was expecting you know, a compost toilet. I was expecting things like that. That's not an issue. But I get here. Um, he shows me a couple of pictures that I'm, I'm allowed to take the pick of, both of which are lumpy as anything and barely big enough for, a, for my tent. Um, then he shows me the, the, the compost toilet, which I don't know how to describe it. Uh, anybody my height or taller will be able to see over the top of the, the corrugated iron wall they've got as like a privacy thing. <laughs> so it's not very very private. But that's for that's for number twos. Number one, <laughs> if you need to just go for a number one, um, there's some straw bales right out in the middle of open you just got to pee on. Good luck ladies. Um, <laughs> I, 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 I just can't get over that. Um, oh and also I asked him, he asked me if there's anything I wanted, if I wanted a coffee or, or any of the cake, any of that. And I was a bit, getting a little bit put off by this by this point. Oh he also, I'm sorry, he also mentioned um, 
because I saw on, online that it's five pound a night to stay here, which seems a bit steep. Bearing in mind what's what's it like here, he goes no because of the COVID um, thing that's going on. They've had to double their prices. It's now ten pound a night, ten pound for this, and it, and and it's basically the campsite in a swamp. Uh, oh yeah, and also because I'm camping. That's it, because he asked me, did I want coffee or anything, or cake or anything? I said, no, 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 thanks. But I do need some water, though, uh, because I've completely ran out of water. Oh, uh, that seemed to be a bit of a problem, water. Then he went back to the house, came back, and because I'm camping, I've been allocated a two-litre Morrison still water, a two-litre bottle of water per day. Uh, I just I don't know how to describe it. I'm certainly not going to stay two nights now. I'm just going to stay the one night. Um, even though I, I can't, yeah, you know, I can't move my my um, flight or anything like that. So I'm, I'm just going to get uh, staying a premier in or something for an extra night. I'd rather pay fifty quid, whatever it is, for that than than pay ten pound for this. Put it this way: last night when I wild camped um, just up from the stream. Uh, Right out in the middle of nowhere, well, in the woods sort of thing. The facilities there were better than here. Just just bear that in mind. The facilities on a wild camp um, were better than here. I just can't believe it. Apparently, um, one of the owners is going to come around later tonight to give me a receipt. I mean, I haven't paid yet to um, take some money and, and, and give me a receipt, so... I will be um, only staying for one night. <laughs> and just to top it off, and I know this isn't their fault here, <laughs> but there's no mobile service. <laughs> so, um, I, you know, I know that's not their fault, but there's no mobile service, so it's not like I can look around for a, a ca another campsite in Inverness or anything. Uh... <laughs> so I, I feel they've got me here for one night, but not for two. Right, that's it for now. Until I find anything more um, that'll be it hello I've just had the um, the same guy that was showing me around earlier he's just come back to uh, take my money and give me the receipt and I told him then that I'm only gonna be staying for one night and he was like well that, that's f fine by that he had to go off again to um, change the receipt uh, and he came back with a tablet and he said to me uh, he asked me uh, would I mind if uh, it took some photos because the owners like to um, update their Facebook page um, just to show people like here yeah, using you know using the, the, the camping and I, I opted out of that <laughs> I opted out of that and he, he said that's fine that's fine he walked off you know he's a very polite guy got nothing against him at all but yeah oh, crikey I can't believe it they wanted to use pictures of me sitting here in my tent on their Facebook page to try and promote it and I, I, I I don't know what to say to that. <laughs> um, but anyway, that's my opinion of the camping bit here. Um, I've, I know on on their web on the um, Google reviews that a lot of people rave about their cakes and stuff. I think that's people that aren't staying here that are just walking through and have stopped for a coffee and, a, and some cakes. They 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 love it. But yeah, what a what a campsite this is. I... <laughs> <laughs> oh well that's it for that's it for now that'd be it for today